Marcus Conti reporting, pipe-wielding wacko kills four in Chinatown. Four homeless guys get whacked. Four homeless guys, four and a half homeless guys, another fifth, ended up with a severe head injury. Four dead in Chinatown as a result at the hand of some psychopath who piped them to death. So let's take a look first where, because I'm very familiar with this area, so I'm very... Very apt to tell you what's going on here with this pipe-wielding wacko in Chinatown kills four. Uh, It's not a uh, an FF or any no false flag or anything. It's just some psychopath that appears to have whacked four people. So look where we are, right? This is Chinatown, and this is the uh, courthouse. This is the Epstein courthouse. This is the jail, Metropolitan Correctional Center where Epstein, uh, Jeffrey Epstein, was allegedly murdered or or killed himself. Here's the pink umbrella, kind of, for lack of a better term. You remember, here's the courthouse. Here's where, remember where where all this shit went down, right? This is where Jeffrey Epstein did his last walk into the courthouse at 500 Pearl Street. I don't know if we can go down there. Well, it's not going to let us go down there. But here's the uh, front of the building. I'm sure we can go down here and take a look. So here's the front of the building. Remember the courthouse? And if you go this way, right? You just go a few blocks away, a few short blocks away, and this is where this is the scene of the crime. This is where the uh, the pipe wielding guy whacked these uh, people. Right? Yeah, it's right in this park right here. All right, so so it's Chinatown. You see all the Chinese writing on the walls, and I'll show you exactly. These are the uh, this is the scene right here. Right, uh, right over here. On East Broadway, I think I went too far. Like right in this, right here, right. So the apparently there were homeless guys sleeping in these uh, in these little alleyways, like they do. They sleep in the doorways at night, right? It's one o'clock in the morning, and um, so there it was, right? That's the that's the Manhattan Bridge right there. Very familiar with this neighborhood. I used to live maybe I used to live three blocks in the other direction on Grand Street uh, for quite a while. So. That's where he was. So let's, um, here's, here's some of the, uh, let's look at some of the mainstream media. Deadly rampage through Chinatown early this morning. Wielding a long metal bar, police say he attacked other homeless people who were sleeping, killing four and leaving a fifth person with serious injuries. The suspect, 24-year-old Randy Rodriguez Santos, is in police custody. His motive, unclear. Although police say the attacks appear to be random. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Diana Rocco. Homeless sleep on park benches Saturday in Chatham Square, just feet from where five homeless men were targeted in a violent attack. While they slept on a cold night in Chinatown, brutally bashed in the head with a pipe. I was homeless before, and how can you do that to a homeless person? We all are human. We're human beings. Officers got a 911 call early Saturday morning of an assault in progress at 2 Bowery Street. Witnesses saw a man with a pipe beating a homeless man sleeping on this stoop. When the responding officers arrived at the location, they discovered an unconscious male lying in the street with severe head trauma. A second male with head trauma also approached the officers at the scene. After a search of the area in nearby Chatham Square, police found three more homeless victims, all pronounced dead from severe head trauma. In early reports, one was able to communicate a message to police before he died. Minutes later, police found a 24-year-old man fitting the suspect's description at Mulberry and Canal Streets. With the alleged murder weapon nearby, he was taken into custody. It is still not clear what prompted the pipe-wielding killing spree. No one was uh, targeted by race, age, anything of of that nature. He's the only guy that sleep at the corner. I said, oh, my God. Ken Yee knew one of the victims, a man in his 60s, he says, has been sleeping next to his store for about a year. He had just seen him last night and says he was quiet, but always polite. From time to time, he comes in for newspapers, waters. The guy never gave me trouble. The 24-year-old man that police now have in custody was taken to the hospital and is undergoing a psych evaluation. They say he is also homeless. Police are asking anyone who may have been in this area over the last couple of days and seen anything strange that pertains to this case to call Crime Stoppers. So that's uh, that's one. Here's, here's just, I think, a still of the, um, 
the corner. Just a still shot of the corner, very interesting, late at night. It's 1, 1 45 in the morning, there's nothing going on in that area. Most, for the most part, Chinatown shuts down. But in the daytime, it's very busy. You have, you know, vendors, uh, fruit stands, and a lot of street food, a lot of street activity, people selling stuff outside. A lot of people, very crowded sidewalks. Uh, so, there's not much, you know, there's another scene. A lot of cops with their hands in their pockets, checking it out. The hell's going on? I mean, it raises the bigger question: Why attack? Why did someone attack homeless people? I mean, you know, the the most vulnerable of vulnerable people sleeping on the street, and some psychopath goes around and kills them with a pipe. Oh, man, it's just it's crazy. It's a crazy story. So let's read the details. So attacker beats four fellow homeless men to death with metal pipe in New York. So he himself. We'll go look at his, his name is Randy Rodriguez Santos. We'll look at his, uh, we'll look at his Facebook page in a second. We'll check out his friends. We'll see everything, <laughs> see who he is. He's from, Cent, uh, he's from uh, Dominican Republic. So he's not a, he's not, he doesn't fit the proto, the prototype of a white male, you know, angry at politics, angry at the, you know, angry at the establishment. More it's just a, a guy who, you know, is an immigrant, you know, is, a, is an immigrant from Dominican Republic, which means he probably wasn't, he was probably an illegal immigrant, right, for his age and the fact that he was from Dominican Republic. So it doesn't really say that, but let's read more. Attacker beats four fellow homeless men to death with metal pipe in New York. I showed you where he was. Uh, a vagrant wielding, uh, wielding a metal a vagrant, okay, wielding a metal pipe, savagely beat four sleeping homeless men to death early Saturday as they hunkered down for the night on the street of New York City. A fifth homeless man was critically injured, suffering a serious head wound before police nabbed uh, Randy Rodriguez Santos, 24 years old, as he walked near Canal uh, with the murder weapon resting on his shoulder, cops said. One of the victims was an elderly man somewhere between 60 and 80 years old, a source told the New York uh, Daily News. Santos, uh, who was also homeless, was taken to the 5th Precinct for questioning, but no charges were filed immediately in the f one, uh, one forty-five a.m. attack. He was arrested in May for threatening a man inside a Brooklyn homeless shelter, but the, vic the victim refused to press charges according to law enforcement sources. Police responded to a reported Chinatown assault in progress, found one victim lying dead on the ground with a massive head wound before a second man with similar injuries approached them on Bowery near Division Street. Uh, so one of the guys got up and found the police. Two witnesses told cops that the attacker, in a black jacket and pants, bashed the slain men in the head multiple times before walking away. Cops soon located three other lifeless victims about a block away, uh, block away, two in front of East, um, East Broadway. So that's literally right on the corner. This has got to be two, uh, maybe right here, maybe right here, two. I'm not really sure. I can't see the address. Yeah, this is seven. So this is two over here. No, actually, it's the other side of the street because this, this is odd, so it's got to be over here. Here it is. 2 East Broadway. There it is. So right in front of the noodle joint. Right in front of the noodle joint. There's the Manhattan Bridge. There's the courthouse back there. All right. I don't know if I've ever eaten in that one. <laughs> probably. I probably had noodles. Oh, there's a good noodle joint right over here on this corner, the noodle shop. Where is it? I'll show you where the noodle shop is. I'll show you a noodle shop later, if I remember. But that's where he was uh, murdered. Uh, so, so two in front of East Broadway, the other, so the other outside nearby 17 East Broadway. So probably down the block a little bit. So he was walking down the block, right? 17 is, uh, that's got to be on this side of the street. So 17, 17, this is 11. Uh, so right over here somewhere. Right over here somewhere, he, he, uh, 
he gets a second uh, second with a uh, second victim with all killed by uh grievous grievous head wounds santos was arrested at the corner of mulberry and canal uh, that's a couple of blocks away about a half a mile away not quite a half a mile but that's where the uh, the the when you remember I was doing the Mulberry Street Fair, the uh, San Gennaro Festival, I started on Canal and Mulberry, right on that corner. So that's that's where the bank is. I think there's a bank on the corner over there, whatever. But uh, so they ba- they they caught him about a half a mile away on um, on Canal and Mulberry, about a half mile north, um, and he surrendered the weapon without any trouble. The pipe was apparently taken by Santos from a metal fence, and cops were searching the area for another possible victim, according to police. Again, this is only an interesting story because, it again, it threatens the most vulnerable people on the street, right? Why does a psychopath go and kill four people, five people, with a pipe? Why is he bashing homeless people, right? Why don't you go bash some bankers? Why don't you kill some some politicians? Why do you, I mean, it's... Why attack people on the street, man? It's just, it's just heart, heart-wrenching to me. Uh, that's like a serial killer, right? Said local resident uh, Phil Blong, 49. If he's capable of doing that, what else would he be capable of doing? That's a serial killer. I agree. The survivor was rushed to uh, New York downtown hospital where he was listed in critical condition. Same hospital that uh, Epstein was rushed to, New York downtown. Homeless man Simba Bashir, 59, said he was sitting on a park bench in Kimla Square, uh, Kimla Square, sharing a beer with one of the victims only hours before the killing spree began. Quote, this morning when I came back, he got, he got killed, said Basar, Basir, uh, fighting back tears. Quote, that could have happened to me if I was there. When a friend of mine passed away like this, it's not supposed to happen. Oh. Police said Santos uh, has a rap sheet with a dozen prior arrests in the last two years, including the attempted assault with a weapon uh, just five months ago in Brooklyn, according to sources. Santos has a history of fighting and arguing with other homeless people. Uh, cops had no motive for the savage attack and believed that Santos, whose last name known address was in Brooklyn, uh, was acting alone when he went on the lethal rampage. I'm just shuck, said uh, uh, neighbor resident uh, K. Mock, 37. Uh, usually stuff like this doesn't happen over here that much. Remember, you're in Chinatown, right? It's, the neighborhoods change really fast down there. It is Lower East Side, but you're, you're essentially in Chinatown. And then you walk a quarter mile, a half a mile towards Mulberry, and then you're in Little Italy. And you got to walk through Jewtown, the old Jewtown, where the, Di- the Diamond District, on Canal and, and Broadway. It should serve as a reminder to all of us that our homeless neighbors live without the protection and privacy of a home, said Jezel Rachatara, the group's uh, policy director. Uh, the Coalition for the Homeless. Yeah, okay, right. Yeah, they, they drive around. They'll drive over these fuckers before they take them in. Right? So... See some more footage. And then we'll look at his Facebook page. Very interesting. Advertisement. So here's some photos from the New York Post. This is, these are riveting. Let's take a look at these. See like bloody, bloody pulp pictures. Hold on a second. Let's listen to this guy. In custody, and we're told that that person does have a violent assault uh, history. Uh, when the call went came in, that. Yeah, see, it's right in front of the it's right in front of the Buddhist church. It's right here. It must have happened. It must have happened here, and they're saying two. Well, we know already. It's two. I don't know why they have the backdrop of the uh, the church, but nonetheless, sorry. That a homeless man was murdered in his sleep. Police canvassed this area and found three more dead on East Broadway. Police taped off sections of Chinatown where four homeless men were brutally murdered as they slept early Saturday morning. In all, five men were attacked, beaten over the head with a metal pipe. A fifth victim is in the hospital with severe head trauma. Two witnesses informed the responding officers that unknown male were in a... Uh, It seems to be repetitive of what we already saw. Let's look at these photos. These are interesting. This is something new. So we see um, 
Wow. See, like this is this is the guy's last stop, man. You see the blood splat against the window. Blood splat against the window. It's not gonna let me scroll. Sorry about that. Hmm. Look at this fat cop. <laughs> There's another body over there. Another body. I guess that's 17 East Broadway. Hmm. You got a lot of the uh, cops down there are Chinese. They speak uh, Mandarin. They speak Cantonese. They speak... Uh, Fujinese. That's a riveting shot right there. That's a really bloody, nasty fucking guy, man. They should, get, they should give this guy the death sentence in New York. You know what I'm saying? So what else can we find out about him? So his mother, mother of suspect in quadruple home, uh, homeless homicide, was terrified of her violent drug addled son. Uh, Rodriguez knew Floriza, his mother's Rodriguez, knew her homeless son was deeply troubled. He struggled with a drug habit, stole from the family, assaulted her and his grandfather. The distraught mother still bursted into tears Saturday after learning her deranged older boy was behind bars for brutally belligering death, belligeringing to death uh, of four fellow homeless men during a bloody Chinatown rampage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She screamed in Spanish. Lord, help me. Oh, my God. Mm. The 55-year-old Rodriguez told the Daily News that she never believed her son Randy, despite his uh, marred problems, could take someone's life. I never thought he would kill someone, she said. Yeah, okay. According to the family members, Rodriguez Santos started using drugs when he arrived in New York from their native Dominican Republic, about four years ago, he soon turned violent, breaking his grandfather's nose in a 2016 incident, and just last Monday slipped into the family home to steal a watch, a phone, and three phone chargers. <clears throat> his mom booted Randy from the house more than three years ago, but he remained a menacing presence popping in and out of their lives. When I told him to leave, he came back and threatened me, she recounted. He said, when I go back to San Domingo, he'll get people to cut my face. Hmm. I was threatening his parents. Uh, I wonder if that's the fifth guy. I don't know who that is. The suspect's kid brother, Anthony, 16, said the sibling would talk, the siblings would talk when their paths crossed on the neighborhood streets. Anthony and Randy uh, well, Anthony said Randy was waiting on the steps to the family home on Friday night when he returned around 8 p.m. from getting a haircut. I asked why he was here, he said. You know, Mom doesn't want me here, recounted Anthony. He just asked for his jacket because he said he was cold. And I said, yeah, he could just, and he just left. So he took his coat and left. Six hours later, the NYPD put ran, uh, putting Randy in handcuffs, handcuffs after his arrest for the fatal beating of four victims killed by a swinging metal pipe to their heads. Uh, so let's look at who he is. So here he is. We've already seen these shots. Uh, fat boy, fat boy Domenico, fat boy rice and beans. Yo, man, what's up, motherfucker? You fucking smoke my blunt, motherfucker. It was a real goon, real fucking goon head. Uh, so, so there you go, though. You go, you go, you go. I want to get to his. Come on, there you go. So you scroll down a little bit. This guy's fat bitches in the picture here, man. Fucking Nina. Hey, man, this is what happens, man. When you when you're friends with a fucking serial killer, right? You get you get exploited. You get exploited. Eliminate. Go erase those friends page, man. Go era erase your friends shit. Man. It's all, it's all Dominican Republic. It's all Hispanic, Dominica. I love Dominican people, man. I, I lived in Washington Heights for a bunch of years around Dominican people. Never had a problem. Never had a problem. I'm not bashing Dominican people here. I'm just pointing out the, 
pointing out the facts that all his friends were Dominican. He never seemed to acclimate, I guess, <laughs> whatever that means. He never seemed to work his way into American culture. Uh, so there's not much more about it. His about section is blank. His timeline is is just these same four shots. Him with some, some freak dude. Maybe it was, I don't know, Halloween or something. Who knows? Uh, so all the comments are in Spanish. Ah, uh, Maya, Mara, Mara Santos, Mara. <laughs> Sorry, man. This is what happens, man. You want to be, you want to, <laughs> you want to go down with some fucking, hang with some creep. You hang with a serial killer. Man, that's what happens, man. You get exploited. You get exploited. So, uh, so that's really it. Marcus Conti reporting here. So it's it's just a little devastating, you know. I mean, it's it's a it's. I gave it twenty minutes of the story, but it is kind of bizarre when a man like you could be sitting in you know sleeping in the street on the on the balls of your ass with nothing left, and some psycho takes the last thing you have, your life, just takes your life. You don't even have enough money to buy goddamn Chinese food. All you do is smell the good Chinese food. And, and it's 1 o'clock in the morning. You're just trying to get a, take a nap. And some psychopath comes up to you and bashes your fucking skull with a pipe. Damn. How are we living? How are we living, man? Where's the, where's the humanity in that shit, man? Marcus Conte reporting. <laughs>